Whether you're a graphics designer, web developer, video editor, entrepreneur, or honestly anyone in between that deals with creative projects that involve more than one person, then you know that these projects can lead to chaos and confusion, causing delays, missed deadlines, and just overall a lot of frustration. If that is the case for you, then Review Studio is something you will want to know more about. Now, before we dive in, let's just quickly go through what exactly Review Studio is. It is online proofing software that makes it easy for individuals, small businesses, and large companies to collaborate on creative projects. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I had no idea proofing software was even a thing. I had no idea it even existed, but once I found out about it, I knew it was something I needed in my life. So trust me, once you start using Review Studio, you will wonder how you even manage without it. The great thing about Review Studio is that you can use it for so many creative projects, like for example, graphics design, marketing, advertising, web development, and way more that I'm not even going to mention because this video will end up being longer than the CVS receipt. But I mostly use it for video editing since that is what I outsource the most. And I know there's quite a few content creators that watch me as well, so listen up. So let's get started. I've first of all created a new review and I have added all of my main video clips aka the A-roll for my next video. But it doesn't need to be audio, there are hundreds of file formats that you can upload to Review Studio. Now for the fun part, I'm gonna add comments for my editor so they know what edits I want for each video clip. And there are so many ways you can add comments, which leads me to introducing you to the toolbar on the left, which has many different ways to add markups to your files, including freehand drawing, adding notes with a pin, and different shapes like arrows, lines, squares, and circles. Out of all of the markup tools available on the toolbar, the one I personally use the most is the shape tool because it's a great way to show the exact size and location that I want certain images, graphics, or videos to show up on the screen. So before I actually found out about Review Studio, I was using, I was writing directions on a Google document for my editor. Now this wasn't ideal because it was really difficult to explain the exact size and location of a graphic, for example. And since I couldn't explain it properly, I didn't get exactly what I was looking for. Also, it just took more time as well. But now, since I use this software, it's so much easier to communicate all these edits and tweaks that I want. You can also highlight text if the file is a PDF. And of course, the color, opacity, and the size of the markup tools, like shapes, text highlight, and freehand drawing can also be changed. This is where the original file can be downloaded. So when my editor accesses the review, that is usually the first thing they click on. Now, as you can see, all of the comments I've made so far using the markup tool show up on the right side of the screen in the comment section. Another really cool feature that I constantly use if it's video or audio is that you are able to set a timestamp range on the progress bar for each comment that you add. Like this. I use this feature to show the range I want a certain graphic to appear in the video, for example. It's been incredibly useful. But you can also just add general comments without any markups or timeline ranges. So the only thing that will appear is the timestamp of when you added the comment. You can even mention collaborators in the comment section. They can either be users that you've added to your account or they can be guests. 
and this will send them a direct email notification with your comment text and a link directly back to your comment so they can easily find it in the review and they can take appropriate action. You can also attach files or links to your comments. This is where I add files of images I want on a certain part of the video or links to sound effects in my Google Drive that I want added. For video editing, these are more examples of comments that I write. Using the timestamp range option to show where exactly to delete a section of a video clip that I do not want included in the final video. Using the timestamp range option and the pin tool to show exactly when and where to add the following text on screen. And the text I want on the screen will be added to the comment. Using the square tool to show exactly where I want a certain image to appear on the video and attaching the image to that comment. Using the timestamp range option and a filled square tool to show when and where to blur an area of the video. So yes, there are a lot of creative ways you can use these markup tools and the comment section to express exactly what changes you want it done to a file. Once I'm done adding all of my comments to all of my video clips, I'm going to add my editor to the review. And I do it like this since they're a user, but you can also share it with anyone who needs access to it by entering their email address or sending them the link. This means that they will be a guest. There is no limit to how many guests you can add to your review and you can even decide if these guests will have the ability to approve the review they're a part of. The admin, in this case me, gets to assign as many approvers as they want and choose whether any or all approvers are required for each project to be considered approved. But in this case, since it's only just me and my editor, then I'm going to be the only approver. I also quickly want to mention that if you do have quite a few people within your review and you want to announce something to them, like for example, that you have added new content to the project and that needs to be reviewed, you can do so in the notify section. And here you can basically send an email notification to either a select few people or everyone participating in the review. Now let's go over more great features of Review Studio that I just have to mention. First of all, let's talk about present mode. With Review Studio, you can hold live presentations to other users within the review using the little laser pointer tool that we have here to quickly draw attention to specific elements. And the best part is that everything will be synced in real time for everyone viewing the project. Another thing that I really like is how easy it is to give and manage approvals on the canvas. Approvers simply submit their decision and if needed, they can also provide a quick comment. And you can even view the approval history here in the comment bar. So if you have multiple approvers, then you can see what their decision is and their comments all in one place. Next is the whole task management feature that I love. Comments can be turned into tasks that can be delegated to people in your team or the one person in your team or even assigned to yourself. Completed tasks can also be hidden by going to filter and sort and hide completed tasks. You know, if you have a lot of them, 
and you just want to see the ones that are still not done yet. Personally, sometimes I even use Review Studio for my own notes to break down my project into doable action steps. For example, with the video editing, if I decide to edit the video myself, then it's just a great place to keep an organized list of notes for myself. Because it's honestly just a great way to keep everything organized and ensure that nothing gets missed. Okay, now let's talk about compare mode. This feature lets you display any two versions of a file side by side within a review because you can upload new versions of the same file in the same review. And there's quite a few helpful tools to make this easier for you as well. This is particularly helpful when tiny tweaks have been done and you want to analyze the differences between the first version and the second version. For example, in my case, usually, the first version of the edited video is not 100% perfect and needs tiny tweaks, which is totally fine. So I add a new version of the first draft and make comments on the minor alterations necessary. Now, once the editor has fixed the tweaks and I have uploaded the new version in the same review, the compare mode helps me analyze the differences way better. Overall, I have used this tool for months now and I just really, really like it because it's just one of those tools that I really need in my life and I will keep using it whenever I'm outsourcing creative projects such as video editing and anything else that will come up in the future. Now, if this software sounds like something that you would need in your life like I do and you want to start using it, I do have a link in the description box that gives you 50% off the first three months and 15% off annual plans. And I do highly recommend it to anyone that works on projects that require collaboration with others. Thanks again Review Studio for sponsoring this video. Without you, we would probably be in the dark ages of collaboration and nobody wants that. I mean, have you seen the outfits that they wore during the dark ages? It's not the cutest. But yeah, let me know if you're gonna try out Review Studio and what are you gonna use it for? But all in all, thank you so much for watching this video through. I hope you have a productive week and I will see you next time. Ciao.